the main supply route around Afghanistan. And everywhere, there's evidence of an insurgency spreading closer and closer to the capital. 51 trucks were burned here in a month. Building this road was a major milestone for the new democracy. Now the Taliban's bombs have left it almost impassable. You need a lot of security and firepower just to go along this main road now. We've seen a huge amount of things, including this. Trucks burnt out by the sides of the road. There's been many of these along this route. And every few kilometers we're seeing big holes in the road where bombs have gone off. And Kabul is just a short distance away. Just an hour before we arrived here, the Afghan army were ambushed and fought a gun battle with the Taliban. But despite the increase in attacks, the new provincial governor of Wardak is confident he has a grip on security. Some of the incidents that took place on the highways uh, were due to the reasons that we do not have enough of our national police. The government has 100% control and Taliban they are in a very poor condition in this province. They do not have the support of the people. But these men disagree. They're Taliban fighters happy to be filmed by a BBC cameraman at dawn, just two kilometers from the main road. They're brazen, eager to show off their weapons and their presence in Wardak. The commander's claims to have 6,000 Taliban fighters and to control three quarters of the province are a huge exaggeration. It's probably just a few dozen men. But being in the villages, particularly at night, gives the locals an impression they're much stronger or even have control. Our cameraman spoke to many local people, most too afraid to criticize the Taliban, but not all. This man believes the new government is much better than the Taliban, with a stronger economy and children now going to school, even girls. But there's no doubt the Taliban influence is spreading. This was the United Nations assessment of the security situation in 2005. There are only a few areas considered high risk, and certainly none around Kabul. Now look at 2008. In three years, half the country has become extremely risky, and the insurgents really are encroaching in on the capital. And it's affecting aid workers. Landmine clearers were abducted in Logar two weeks ago, and now three international women killed in the same province today. The insurgents' tactics are about fear, to turn people against a government that can't protect them. The threat is deadly, and the attacks are getting closer to the capital. Alastair Leith at BBC News, Wardak Province, outside Kabul.